Hey guys, Matt here, and today I'm going to do an unboxing on the Infinite Disc 2020 Mystery Boxes. They put these out uh, about two weeks ago, and as soon as I saw the Twitter notification, I thought I'd give it a shot. Now, I'm curious in two ways. Um, one, just to see what they ended up putting in here. There's a lot of variety over time they put in their Mystery Boxes, and uh, they say that it will be discs from at least three different manufacturers, seven total and another item. And the cost was around $67 before shipping and uh, taxes, so a little over $70. And you get four drivers, a mix of fairway and distance, they said, with two mid-ranges and at least one putter. So it basically sets you up to play with what's in the box right away. And uh, I was curious to see, one, what it was in the box, and two, could you just take what's in the box out there, throw it in your slinger bag and start playing right away? I'm very interested to see if that's the case. So let's get started. Okay. So it looks like First disc is a Legacy Icon Hunter, so that's like their star or durable solid type plastic, very cool. That should be a pretty good neutral putter, it doesn't have a bead, kind of feels like an AVR but a little bit squished down, feels pretty nice. Prodigy 300 plastic M1, so overstable mid-range, nice. And we have an Innova G-Star V-Rock 177. That should be a really nice workhorse mid-range. First driver, we have a Blizzard Crate. Never thrown a crate very much. How light is this one? It's like 175, so, I don't know, 155, sorry. That's pretty light. Might be a good understable turnover driver. We'll see. Oh, got a Faro. 175 S line Faro. Pretty cool stamp. You can see the rainbow with the, the alien there. And oh, Patrick Brown signature slab. Really cool. It's got the like double goblin looking stamp there. And I think that might be glow plastic, actually. So that's really cool. I play in a glow league sometimes. So that one's really nice. And the last one in here, we have a Legacy Driver. I see OTO. Oh, I bet it's an Icon Outlaw. And gosh, I've never seen an Outlaw that was that flat before. This one might be very, very overstable. Um, I actually really like the feel of it. It feels very really shallow and nice, so I bet you I can throw that a long way. And we have the Infinite Disc Tree Bomber sticker in there as well. So that's really cool. I'll give these a shot on the course and see how we do with them. 